Hello, Rin, and hello, Miss. Hello. Hello, hello Rin, Eric. and hello, Miss. Hello, Phil. Hello, hello, Eric. Hello. All right, so I think we can go, question mark? If everything's good? Uh, yep, just give me another second to balance audio real quick, and then we'll be all oh, set. Yeah. That's perfect, because I need time to enable streamer mode again. There we go. Also, we'll awesome. start the Discord stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, is this stream fine? Yep, looks good to me. Let me all know right. when you are ready for the countdown, and I will count you down. Yeah, all right. So, uh, I will just uh, find the right file, please. Okay, thank you. So, countdown is going to start, um, sorry, the timer is going to start when I click normal. So, that's going to be in three, two, one, go. So, hello everyone. Uh, I am Rin, and I will be running Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, doing a Glitz exhibition afterwards and doing Ori 2 as well. Uh, during this time, I will be accompanied by Moose. Hello. So this is going to be all skills, no OB slash TA. Uh, no OB stands for out of bounds and TA, teleport anywhere, which is a glitch that um, breaks the game to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to start by only having wall jumps, not wall jumps, like you can run up walls and you can jump. And we're gonna get our first ability as we get a good luck headbutt by this rhino. And here we are. So this is Sign. Um, she's uh, the voice of the forest or lore or something. Uh, and she has an ability to let us attack. And you can actually time shots to make it faster. So if you wait 0.3 seconds between shots, you don't have to like recharge. And I'm gonna see that right now. So you can see I'm doing one shot, whoops. One shot and then uh, burst of two. And that's gonna come relevant for a boss fight later in the run. And now we're gonna be on our way to get the first skill of the game, like the first actual skill. Uh, so Glades is a section that is known for being reset heavy because oh what was that okay because there's a lot of micro optimizations that you can do um, and there's also a bunch of RNG with like so the first time you get a, an item like um, some life drop the game just shows it to you saying oh you got a life drop like this guy over here just got me which is not good and the drops are random, so we actually need to die just coming up, so this is going to be a bit slower. So I'm going to die uh, as I save with the keys into the door, and that's going to reload my save with the door not here. Uh, this is called the ghost door, and saves about 5 seconds per door. And now we're going to take a quick detour to get this piece of cabbage that's going to give me an extra life cell. No, not the cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna head down to spirit caverns whoops uh, uh whatever i'll just kill it on the way up so saving in this game is uh really unique you have a save point that you can place basically anywhere it costs you one energy uh so you can see i just uh oh, whoops okay so I usually run with the UI off because it skips most of the dialogue, but you can see that I'm uh, using energy to save. And another important resource to manage is EXP uh, because time level ups are really important like this one right here. So this blows all those rambles to the right and it prevents, um, like it saves the time that we would use to kill them manually. That's about five seconds or 10, I'm not sure which. And EXP routing will be uh, even more important later in the run because uh, each time you level up, you get a skill points, and skill points are on really high demand in this game. And now we have wall jump. Uh, I'm gonna use it right here to get this ability cell, uh, energy cell, not ability. 
So basically the gist of uh, the routing is um, while we get all the skills, we want to make sure that we get as much energy as we can because um, resource management is this game is basically part of the movements uh, once you get to the later part of the run. So it's important that we have as much energy as we can without it um, using up too much time. And now we're not gonna go to see the spirit tree like Sign wants us to, but instead we're gonna kill this slime because I messed up earlier. Okay. Uh, we're gonna head down to Blackroot Burrows near the start uh, of the game, and we're gonna get Dash. Uh, so right now it's just a bit of tight platforming, so if you have time for a quick donation or two, this is probably a good time. Uh, yeah, uh, I do have one from... I have a $100 donation from Heeken and Blake. Yo. Um, there's some stuff in French that I cannot read, unfortunately, <laughs> but... Uh, I will say that it does say in English here at the end. Proud to be a part of the Celeste community. You rock, Frog. You. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Hiking. Whoops. Frog. You. So, this is why skill points are high on demand. Whoops. So when you spend a skill point, it saves the game for you. This is called Save Anywhere. We can store the skill point menu by pressing Cancel and Confirm on the same frame. And I just saved right as I started this cutscene. We just skipped it. And now we're in Blackwood Burrows. It cannot be overstated how much time that saves throughout the run. You skip a good handful of cutscenes. Yeah, this game really likes cutscenes. Oh, I'm yeah. safety saving here, because this part is really scary. Yeah. Oh, the is really tight, and there are a lot of cycles here that Rune is going to try to make. Uh, no, I didn't get it. Yeah. They're also, also global very cycles. Heavy point. Yeah, they're, they're... Aren't they global? When did... Wait. I'm they? pretty sure the platforms right here are global. This is news to me. The but lasers yeah. as well on the right. <laughs> uh, so the XP looking kind of fine. I won't be able to kill the top slime, but that should be okay. Uh, I'm not making this. Yep. No. Yeah, that's fine. This is the cycle you want to make. Yeah. But... So I'm going to save here and reload the save. That's going to reset the cycle up top with the platforms. Uh, that saves about three seconds if you do it optimally, which I don't, but whatever. <laughs> it's still time saved. Yeah. And I'm gonna wait right here for a bit. This is gonna manipulate again the cycle in the next room. Okay, should be good. And this is gonna uh, align this this cycle and the one in this room over here, so that we can actually. Uh, Catch that cycle. I'm not sure that was correct. That might be too early. Ah, uh, no, okay, we're good. This cycle right here. If I didn't wait, the platform would be up top and I would have to wait another cycle. This is about five seconds, I think. And coming up is another save anywhere. This one's gonna be a bit particular because we're gonna skip one cutscene and stack it with another. So I'm gonna activate this thing. I'm supposed to get the orb and put it inside of here, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I will place a save in this very specific position, start the save anywhere and carry the orb in. And I'm gonna uh, save anywhere to not skip the cutscene, but give us um, movement during it. And I'm gonna rekindle the save and reload, and that's gonna stack two cutscenes together and allow me to move while uh, I'm not supposed to. Oh, I missed it. Well, oh, uh, that's fine. It's like two pixel path. Yeah, I bonked into the wall. So normally we do this movement blind. Oh, there it, there it was. Yeah, it was too far yeah. right. This blind movement can be really scary because if you fall down. Uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, you can load a backup save, but in a, if you're going for a PB, it's basically reset. And we do not have time to breathe because there is another, uh, not really a glitch, more of an exploit coming up. So I'm going to take this Franky over here and I'm going to take him for a walk. <laughs> this is called Franky Walk or Promenade de la saint jouy as we like to call it in French. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I'm going to damage boost over here and get this guy to level me up so that I can put two energy into this door, kill him. Uh, that was a bit far. Okay. And put another two. 
And now we're uh, now we're in Moon Grotto, and in the scariest section of the run. Okay, we're through. No. Ooh. Okay. That was not very fortunate. Very fortunate, as someone might say. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, That's... the. No, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that's one of the, the bigger sequence breaks in the game. It yeah. Skips go, having to go all the way around through um, through Grove, which would take, I don't know, five minutes? Yeah, probably about that. And I would do a safety save entering here, but because I just used all my energy to open that door, I, in fact, cannot. So the only way out of here is either you get a lucky energy from this guy or you cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Surely it will work. All right. And because we take, oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Because we take damage from the water right here, we're at 2 energy, so this Franky up top can actually kill us. There we go. The movement through that section is pretty specific. Yeah. Uh, to not trigger the Franky too early. Alright, now we're safe. What happens, you will die. Okay, there you go. And I'm gonna go for a really tight cycle. I could not guarantee that I will get this, because it's really hard. But yeah, moves if you can take it from here. Easily one of the harder cycle skips. It's kind of hard to explain uh, to keep it simple. There we go. Ooh, nice. It's a lot of uh, pretty precise inputs in order to barely squeeze in through that cycle. And it saves about eight seconds, I want to say. Uh, it saves eight seconds, yeah. This is yeah. much more precise than it looks, by the way. Yeah. It looks pretty easy when you just do that. Yeah. <laughs> that was super clean. Alright, coming up we have more blind movements. Uh, this one's a bit different. We're gonna save in front of the tree. Um, oops. Trigger it and open the ability menu because the game still allows us to do that and it's gonna uh, give us control during it. So now I'm going back up blind. Uh, it's not that bad if you memorize the movements, honestly. And now we're going back up. So now would probably be a good moment to talk about dash gliding. Uh, moves if you can explain. Right, so uh, if you let go of directions Ow. as you jump Ow. out of what? the dash, you keep oh wow, you keep a lot of um, momentum, like a, a lot more momentum than you would if you just hold like yeah. kept holding the direction. Um, that also goes for bashes, as we'll see a bit later. Yeah, and you can combine both to get really good speed. We will see that near the end of the run. Yeah. Oh, that was. Oh, I know why I messed that up. That was way too early. Okay. Uh, once again, another... A bit of a massive skip coming up right here. So I'm gonna use um, a tiny piece of wall that you can wall jump off of. There we go. Clean. And, and skip jump. all the left and get the baguette jump, which is obviously the <laughs> most important jump in the run. Saves point one. Yep. It loses two if you miss it. Yep. <laughs> Shoutouts to the French community. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I hate that I'm more consistent at Baguette Jump than any other strats. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Whoops. Uh, so also what I just did right here... Yet. Yeah, it really is. So what I just did right here was skip a cutscene by rekindling instead of using a save. Uh, save anywhere, which I also did right here. So some cutscenes you can actually fully skip, and some you cannot fully skip, but you have control during them. Uh, there's gonna be one coming up as we go up to Genzo Tree. And right now would probably be a good time for a donation or two. Great. So we have a $10 donation from Sickly Jack that says, Good luck on the Ori runs. Can I get a big beefy from Eric? And yes, you can. Big beefy. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. And we also have a $50 donation from Emmy that says, Hi, Rin. Just want to wish you the best of luck with the run. Yo, thank you, Emmy. It's good to see you here. All right. So coming up, we have... Whoops. Me running into Spike. Oh, what? Okay. I'm glad I safety save here. 
All right, so once again, the level up timing is really important because this frog really likes to get in the way. And we're gonna take a quick detour to get this ability cell on top. Because once again, um, ability, oh, what was that? Ability points are on pretty high demand in this run. There's a route that actually skips that guy, but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Ow. Uh, this should work. No, it's too far left. Whoops. Okay. So this is the demo dash I mentioned, Hyken. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, actu it's actually a crouch dash, because it works the same as in Celeste. If you dash while crouching, you keep your crouch hitbox. And here was the um, cutscene quote-unquote skip that I was mentioning. So if we were lucky, we're gonna see some pretty funny stuff with Ori. Wait. Nah, I missed it. Or you can get like tilted 45 degrees if you stand on the right spots, that's pretty funny. And now we're in Ginza Tree. Probably one of the most technically demanding parts of the run. Uh, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, those. Aside from the very ending. Yeah, the room that's coming up is one of my least favorite places in the game. I think there's a cycle that we have to make with those Bramble guys. Uh, if I can make it. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're through. Very nice. And now it's probably a bit of a breather. There's a boss fight coming up. Uh, I'll explain. Uh, oh, what? What was Wait, that? What? what was this about? Okay, then. Okay, oh, then it's time for donations. <laughs> Sure, yeah. Um, just want to remind everyone of our current incentives. So we are at $170 out of $250 to turn on Extreme Measures 4 during the Hades Relay for programmatic segment. And as a reminder, if we get to our stretch goal of $3,000, we will have Super Secret Bonus Game. So let's get our donations in to see Super Secret Bonus Game. And I've never tried this game. Is it good? There we go. So in the next room, there's a bit of a puzzle skip, as I would call it. Uh, so you're supposed to get this block that's on top to break, like to get the the bullet that's sent here to go through all the portals. But you actually don't need that. Uh, am I gonna get it? Oh, I missed it. So you can actually use this single block uh, to. Oh, okay, that, that's fine. Oh. And mini bus is coming up. Um, Moose, if you can take it over from here. Right. So there's a, uh, a small route differentiation between people. Um, some people will level up Magnet as their first ability, and some people will do the like attack upgrade. I don't remember what it's called actually. Uh, quick flame. This I think. is the quick flame. Yeah. This no. is the reason why most people do quick flame because you can uh, do this in one. Or two faster cycles? I actually don't remember. Uh, you can get a three um, cycle if you're good. And yeah. the fastest you can get without quick flame is five. Yeah, which is a pretty big time save. But it's yeah. a lot more risky and definitely not something you would want to do in a marathon setting. Yeah, especially given how tight the EXP routing is. Frankie yeah. Walk is even harder without Magnet. No, yeah, dude. Definitely. Uh, okay, I guess that's fine. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Yeah, I'm just now gonna take damage. Probably the most interesting ability in the game, in my opinion. If I can get past that door, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 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 All right, so yeah, Bash is really good ability, uh, really fun. Sorry for people who don't like cracking fingers. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn UI on specifically for this because there is a really interesting glitch coming up. Uh, so for now, it's just kind of a tight routing. Uh, just getting used to our bash ability. And... And double bashes. Yep. Like like this one. That I missed, but that's fine. Oh that's god, okay. Cool. <laughs> I almost ran into the spikes. So I'm gonna collect those keystones, and I'm gonna die while the keystones are in the door, like this. And... Oh, whoops. I guess I'm rekindling. And you can see I have three keystones and the others have been placed back. Uh, this is called key duping, and it saves having to go fish for keys in Torn Fan Swamp. 
And now we get a hyper dash that I missed because I ran into this plant. Okay, there we go. There you go. Intentional death right there. Yep. Surely. Surely intentional. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened right here is if I place a key into the save up, uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Oh god. If I save during a dash and reload the save, I still keep the dash speed. That's a hyper speed. And now we're not gonna finish Ginzo Tree. We're actually gonna be on our way through Thornfell Swamp. And that's gonna be the last uh, of Ginzo Tree. We will not be coming back here. Because we have everything we need. We have Bash, and that's all that matters. And our good friend Ringo. Yep. So because his name we're... will become more apparent later, yeah. but for now, just know that its name is Ringo. Yeah. So because I did not complete Genzo Tree, I cannot get warped into Thornfeld Swamp where Stomp is, and so instead we're gonna use our. I didn't save. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna use our good friend Ringo over here. This is why you save. <laughs> Indeed. So we're gonna bash this guy. Uh, oh, that was not a double bash. Okay. And we're gonna use clever double bashes to do this. And another hyper seed coming up. This time I won't be dying, but I will be reloading the save manually. Um, so double bashes, the way they work is if you bash something and then release the bash and bash again on the next frame, you can actually bash off the same target twice. It's really annoying, but it's also really powerful that you just saw right here. This allows us to break into Swamp. You can do it without, but it's much, much slower. And now we so, have Swamp. Uh, double bashes are frame perfect, but we are allowed to bind another bash bind to the mouse wheel. Yeah, which most people do, which make them a lot more lenient, but they can still be kind of finicky. Yeah, that's how I do it, and it's still, eh. Yeah, sometimes it just, like, doesn't work the way you want it to. Yeah, it's not very cooperative. Uh, so now we have everything we need on the right side, so we're gonna head over... Oh, I forgot this guy. We're gonna make use again of our good friend, Ringo. Oh, listen. I love this. Uh, I love Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> Just does a drum solo the entire time. <laughs> okay, another skip coming up. Uh, if this goes well, you will not notice anything. And we're through. Nice. Nice. So there's actually a cutscene trigger uh, that was supposed to, uh, you know, that it was supposed to be that cutscene where Kuro's like, oh, where is Ori? He just. Um, Remove the Genzo tree, like just clean the waters, right? And you can actually, with a really precise setup, bash through um, this cutscene because when you bash a projectile, the game snaps you on top of the projectile itself. So, with a really precise setup, we can abuse that to kind of um, clip through the cutscene trigger. And taking a quick detour to get this guy. I will never use the ability from this tree, but eh, it's all skills, so I still have to get it. <laughs> Alright. Another save anywhere coming up. This one is kind of cool, because I'm going to dash glide past the slow zone. This dash glide is a lot more precise than you'd think. Yeah, because you don't have a lot of space that you can... You have to jump pretty fast. Uh, this abuses the fact that dash glides... Uh, whoops. Dash glides um, don't decelerate you, so you don't get affected by slow zones. So as you might have seen, uh, Rin was able to break those blue walls. Oh yeah, right. Stomp. Never talked about that. Um, that's just like a funny hitbox moment, really, where you, you're able to hit the, the wall only from the right side with stomp. Yeah. And break them that way. You're normally supposed to use Charge Flame, which is the tree that Rin just got. Thank you. But that's slow. Alright, now we have Air Dash, as you can probably see. Uh, it was one of the upgrades that we took. And upcoming is another really funny trick. Moose, if you can take it from here. 
Alright, so coming up is what is known as fast downplus, uh, which is a pretty complicated trick, but essentially what it's going to do is bash the spider projectile in a very precise angle, and run away as quickly as possible in order to despawn some of the, the mountains that the um, projectile would collide with, while going back to get the ability cell. Nice! And get feather that way, instead of going all the way over and stomping that the rocks yeah. over the rock. Because this cutscene warps you in as soon as you hit the rocks. Yeah. And now we're gonna get C dash, so I'm gonna get glide from Kuro, and then I'm gonna gonna uh, I'm gonna go up to this TP and save to refill my energy because energy is on really high demand in the next sections of the run. And I'm also gonna get charge dash, which um, is a really powerful ability. Uh, it allows us to go fast like this, but most importantly, um, we can do this. Whee. That's called the rocket jump. We'll get to it in a moment. For now, uh, please bear with us because there's a really uh, hard trick coming up. Yeah, the hardest trick in the run to learn. Easily. Yeah. It's right here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's fine. And we're gonna get to the first try. Nice. Uh, I may have to get the. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get the backup uh, from this guy. Oh wait, no, I'm fine, because I just saved. Yeah, no, okay, I'm good. Just have to be extra careful. So if I die right now, I have to do Sorrow Bash again, which uh, is hard. And we're gonna do another Ghost Door coming up. Okay, that was not very good. Whatever. Unfortunate. Yeah. So normally you would have um, you would have safety saved after uh, Sorrow Bash. But because I messed up my route um, on the crystal that's, uh, that was on the left, I didn't get the energy I wanted. But we can just um, zoom yeah. back up, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so rocket jumps, the way they work is that if you charge dash at an enemy, the charge dash is going to be um, aimed towards that enemy. Oh my god. And you can actually cancel that with uh, a double jump. But... Um, the thing is, the devs didn't you expect to do that uh, on vertical C dashes, so they didn't program uh, deceleration for Y momentum. And that allows us to do stuff like this. Alright, so the reason I'm using a save anywhere here uh, is for mana routing reasons. Because I'm going to be using two saves anywhere coming up. Uh, so the first one here, I'm gonna save right here, then die while jumping into this wall, and boom. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, but that just broke like one of those uh, breakable walls that you're supposed to stomp to break. Yeah, you're, from underneath. you're supposed to go all the way around and stop that thing, but you can just do this. Shoutouts to Terra for discovering this. <laughs> And second save anywhere, this one is actually crucial. Uh, that cutscene is really long. And I have already missed that in practice by taking water breathing instead of something else on the way up, which was really funny. <laughs> okay, there we go. And now we're going down to Misty Woods to get the climb ability. I don't know this cycle. Uh, okay. Plate safe. Yeah. Uh, I should not have four energy here. Uh, I'm just gonna take this guy. Yeah. So there's a so bunch of backups that you can get. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So normally you're supposed to do uh, misty woods before doing sorrow. Yeah. Um, but since we did the uh, the funny sorrow bash and basically Oops. sequence broke into sorrow, we had to do Misty now because there's a tree here. Yeah, and Misty is one of the coolest sections of the run. It's very uh, input heavy, very technical, because you have all the movement options that you want. You have rocket jumps, you have C dashes that you just saw. I can I can kind of zoom through the area. Yeah. The important thing to to, to note is that charge dashes cost energy, but you can like regain your energy by either cancelling it with a, a stomp followed by typically followed by a double jump or a bash and you will get that energy back and you can keep charge dashing over and over yeah 
Like if you take a close look at my energy meter, you can see that most of the time I just lose it and then refills. Uh, I messed that up. That's fine. Uh, I didn't safety safe, so better be careful. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Hey. Yeah, it's fine. So that was a storm cancel that you just saw me doing, and now we have climb. Uh, this parry tree is really nice because it refills our energy, and now it's just more tight platforming. Uh, so we probably have time for a quick donation, Eric. Yeah, I do have a donation here. $10 from Theta that says, Let's go, Artithon. So excited to see so many amazing runs by so many amazing people to raise money for such an amazing charity. I am sauced. Oh. And I would like to take this opportunity to announce our new bid wars have been opened for Pokemon Heart Golds. Uh, so we can you can donate to choose the name of the Gyarados, the rival, and also the trainer in Pokemon Heart Gold Run, which will be uh, tomorrow uh, evening. Uh, wait, what's this strat again? Whoops. <laughs> there we go. That works. <laughs> yeah, just had a, just had a brain fart. <laughs> Not that big a deal. This is uh, definitely the most chokeable part of the run. Like most runs, that get somewhere die here. Yeah, it's really experience. hard, really technical. Yeah. Also really fun. Also really fun, yeah. So you get to abuse all the mechanics that the game has. Yeah. Uh, this Meat rocket jump coming up ball. is really cool. Oh, yeah. Shoutouts to meatballs. <laughs> and upcoming uh, is a mini boss. Um, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Awesome. That was the mini boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm. I don't have enough XP. I can just stomp a slime on the way out. The quick kill for that boss is referred to as bang zoom for some reason. I don't actually know why. Because you do bang, bang and then you do zoom. Fight. The old I mean, kill, you, the old name for that route used to be Kapobz, so... I mean, yeah. <laughs> funny name in the order community is a staple, so... Yep, there is another funny name coming up, actually, when we get our next ability. Uh, so we're gonna head back to Blackroot Burrows to get the last ability that we need. So, Climb isn't that useful by itself, because... Um, you can't really do anything, like, you already have wall jump and you have so many movement options that it doesn't really matter. But we'll get there in a few. Uh, for the yeah. moment, there is a sneaky glitch right here called hide and save. <laughs> okay. So if you if you load your save while this lever is on um, active position, it just stays that way. This is called lever glitch. And now we're going to head down. Hopefully I get the cycle. Nice. Nice. Uh, what was happening to the camera there? That was interesting. Uh, yeah, that camera is really weird. And that was the final save anywhere of the zoom. Of the zoom, I was really chats oh, of the cool. run. <laughs> That's a really long cutscene too. Yeah, it's like two minutes or something. Yeah, it's like one of the longest ones, I think. All right, now we have grenade. Uh, remember when I told you that climb was not very useful? Well, well. Whoops. Okay. That was too late. There we go. Thank you. There you go. So this is a grenade jump, also known as Glorious Etrotov, um, Ultimate Police Clap, uh, Light Energy Show You Can Shot, I believe, or Get Up Less for short. Uh, sure. If you uh, if you see jump and throw a grenade on the following frame. Uh, the deceleration curve for his charge dump gets cancelled, and you get this. Yeah. Another frame perfect trick. Yeah. It is two consecutive frames, which is not like the worst thing, but it's still pretty, pretty damn precise. Yeah. Uh, so I'll turn my UI on again, just so you guys can have um, a good view of what it looks like when you cancel C dashes. So I just lost one energy here. Uh, this is all a bunch of storm cancels and bash cancels. And now I'm gonna kill this guy and do oh, yes. and die. Okay, I didn't. Oh, oh. I didn't see jump. Keep the anticipation up, you know. Yeah. It's a really really cool trick there. Hopefully I don't get a slow load. All right. All right, there we go. 
So I'm gonna C jump on this ledge right here and do a precise grenade jump. And I guess slow loaded. What? I've never seen that. Yeah, Ori just doesn't um, doesn't move if the next area isn't loaded, so this happens. So you might be a bit worried about the estimate, because I still have the entirety of Mount Haru to go through. But uh, really, um, I don't think it's a oh. bigger deal. Like, like, there's the door to the exit right here, right? I can just take it. Yeah, just take it. Yeah, let's see. It's easy. Yeah. See? I'm on the end of the game. Yeah. Yep. Another funny frame perfect trick. Yep, that's uh, that's door warp. <laughs> oh, whoops. So, escape sequence is coming up. Moose, if you can explain what's going on here. Because this is kind of tight movement wise. Yeah, I mean, this is the final section of the game. Uh, this is where we combine all the abilities that we have in order to escape Kuro. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say here. Yeah. Um, it kind of speaks for itself. It's just really important that I don't take any damage during this escape sequence, because remember, we never complete a Genzo tree, so the water is still poisoned, and there happens to be a big patch of water coming up. Yeah. Uh, should be good, yeah. Okay. Here it is. Uh, so I'm gonna use this fish right here, and this one. Okay. So I have 2 HP right now, and now we're gonna... C jump bump and do a final grenade jump. Oh, very important one. Here. Whoops. Uh, is this the last input you do, essentially, that matters? And it saves how much? 20 seconds? Yep. Uh, so I'm going to turn the UI on for this. Did I have the UI on? I don't think I did. That, that's a shame. Because we just stacked to cutscene and some really funny stuff happens. If you skip a dialogue line late. Is that time, by the way? Uh, no, time is no. coming up when Naru will pass behind the second uh, tree that's in the that's foreground. Warning ear users. Yep, uh, this is Just actually the most important uh, part of the round. <laughs> right here. So I'm gonna... And yeah. that's time. <laughs> <laughs> that's time. <laughs> Well, GG Red. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. <laughs> and that's already in the Blind Forest. GG. And I don't think we are done yet, as I believe the incentive for the Glicks exhibition have been met. Yes, we have a heck of a rim block, that's for sure. Yep. Yes. And so now we have a bunch of story stuff that we don't really care about. Uh, also, play the game, the story is actually good. So, for this first glitch, I'm going to head into Forlorn Runes, which is the area that we skipped thanks to Sorobash. Uh, so this is another use of Save Anywhere. I'm going to open the teleport menu while I do this. And I'm going to teleport while I die. Pick up this orb. And... TP right here. And now I can fly. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually used in some runs. Uh, a run called Reverse Event Order has to do this to get to Sorrow Pass and get to Sunstone. Because, yeah, we can... Whoops. We can just keep the gravity all the way. And we can just kind of, you know, float up. Uh, okay, got a good cycle. And... Here's Sunstone. Oh! And now oh. we void out. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for the first trick. Now I'm gonna head on to a second glitch. Did you know that Ori could actually fly? I will prove sure. this to you right now. I will save right here. Uh, so you can't really save while you're in the water. Like if I try to save, it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna hit the ground, rekindle the save, and reload the save. So it's gonna put me back where I was with a swim state. Also, ear users again. Yeah. Be warned. <laughs> so you can do a bunch of stuff during this air swim state. You can uh, collect. You can collect stuff. <laughs> what? What was that? Okay. Um. You can even take damage. Uh, the only way to cancel that trick is really to get back into water. 
and we're actually going to use this to pay a visit to our friend the Bailing that's up top. So I remember uh, last time I went here in the run, I just didn't need this guy because you're supposed to use one of those and bash him towards the door. Like this door right here. But there's another way. Uh, I'm going to use a debug feature real quick. Oh yeah, I got the mandatory uh, debug yeah. freeze. Funny debug. Because yeah, the game uh, it does not like us opening debug menu for some reason. Um, okay, there we go. There you go. So I'm going to zoom out a bit so that you guys can see everything that's going on. Uh, so I'm going to get this guy to uh, get out of my way real quick. And another one's going to spawn and I'm going to do some really interesting stuff to it. I will be attacking it a bunch, and yeet! <laughs> and that's it for the Glitz exhibition, guys. Thank you for watching, and thank you for having me. <laughs> that was incredible. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just leaving you guys with the, <laughs> the cursed sounds. No. Okay, no more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we'll be heading on to... Wait, how much was that? I didn't even look at time. Are it we... was uh, thir 36 on my end. Okay, okay. 36 that's... 08. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. I expected um, worse, given what happened. So, I uh, think the next like run we have is uh, the Will of the Wisp 20% yep. incentive that was bet. Yep. Um... So do you need us to, to transition to intermission, or can you just swap the source? Uh, probably a bit, just so that I have time. Who is raiding me? Why do I have notifications? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. We'll, we'll swap to intermission, you can get set up, and give us the go-ahead yeah. when you're ready to go. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Alright, sounds good.